of this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer MacBook photos to external hard drive or pretty much anywhere where you need. And the whole problem is that the Photos app works and functions as a separate entity from the Finder and from all of the folders. Which pretty much means that you have some photos right in the Photos app and you have other photos in the folders in the actual Finder app. And the problem is that you can only move photos and files to external hard drives when you have them in the Finder, when you only have it in the folders. And you cannot really do it from the Photos app. So the solution to, to it is to simply move photos from the Photos app to the Finder. And we can do that very easily. So you, you can just open up the Photos app and go to whatever photo you want. You can just use one photo or you can grab entire albums. So just scroll to whatever section you want. I mean, you just like in the, the Photos app on iPhone, you can browse by the type, by the albums, by selfies, live photos, videos and stuff. So plenty of options. But let's say you get to this page and you would like to move all of the photos out. Well, you can just drag and select all of them or click on one and on your keyboard, click Command A and that's going to select all of the photos. Another option as well and simply have a folder ready where you would want to move them. So once you have it available, just grab the photos, all of the selected ones from the Photos app and paste them, like literally drag them to another folder. This is going to take a while because you are kind of like exporting photos from uh, the Photos app. It all depends on uh, the size, of course, of the of the files and also on how many you would like to actually move or like copy. And it's also important to know that, like I said, it works separately. And this pretty much means that once you move it from the photos to the finder, you simply copy it so it stays in both places. So in case you just remove it from the folders, it's going to stay in the photos and vice versa. But anyways, once you have all of the files in a folder in the Finder app, then you can connect your external hard drive or USB or whatever, and you can move it there very easily. So in the Finder, locate your external disk and decide where you want to move it, where you want to copy it, and simply copy, paste, or drag it there, because now you can. Well, you probably think now that you could move it right to the external hard drive and it would be possible to move it there right from the Photos app, but it's generally more reliable to put it there because maybe something happens with the connection. It's it's always an external drive, but yeah, this, this is also possible and you can do that as well. You can drag it right to the external disk if you really want to. And that is pretty much it. I do not think that I should add anything else to that video. And if you really were looking for this and you wanted to see something else, you didn't find the solution here, please let me know down below in the comments what I could improve. Perhaps I could make another updated video with this. I mean, yeah, it just depends. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it and that it helped you. And yeah, you can subscribe, you are free to do so for more co uh, content like this in the, the future. So yeah, it's up to you and yeah, we can see each other in the future. Have a great rest of the day.